Well, this is a nice day for it. Let's say I'm. <laughs> I thought I'd film these these lovely guys and gulls in, in the field here near where I live. Uh, looks like a, a field of alpacas or llamas. I think they're alpacas though, but they're fantastic. Yeah, it's actually a really nice day today. It's uh, March the 8th, uh, 2021 uh, AD. And, and uh, yeah, I just, I've been out for a bike ride and I'll show you the reason why in a minute. But I just wanted to, to film these guys because they're, they're, they're quite... Cl I actually cycled past here uh, last year and saw these guys in a field, in the field. So I thought, I'll see if they're still here today and, and film them. If, uh, I hope they don't mind. But anyway, so I'm, I'm bloody excited because uh, I've got a new bike. Uh, this this mad fella. Uh, it's a it's a Planet X Spitfire in small ass frame size. Uh, I'm five foot five. I've just literally ridden it back from the bike shop where they. Uh, Melksham Cycle Centre. Uh, the the guys are absolutely flipping awesome there. They've they've been really kind to us over the years, and they actually helped us to get this this bike uh, that you see here. I so say I'll be paying it off for a while, but it's, it'll be bloody worth it. Uh, as I say, this is uh, the Planet X Spitfire, a titanium road bike with cantilever brakes. So I actually wanted to go for this model specifically because. Uh, Everyone's going disc brakes now on road bikes, and I thought I'd have a chance of, of getting one of these before they were uh, discontinued. And they're actually on a special offer at the moment, so it says last, uh, once they're gone, they're gone type of deal. So I thought, man, I've got to try and go for it. So I chanced my arm with the, with the guys at Melksham Cycle Centre to see if they could order it for us, which they very, very kindly did. So uh, I'll be, I say, paying this off for the, the foreseeable future, but... I'm fucking chuffed to bits. Excuse my French. I've uh, wanted a, a titanium road bike for absolute decades. and could never afford one. Uh, I've only ever had two road bikes in my in my life. Uh, one was a Rally Elan, which I, ha I bought in the early 90s from Rose's Ironmongers, where I, where I used to work. And uh, the second road bike was a, a 2012 specialized tarmac sport that I got from the the guys in Melksham uh, van just go past sorry about that but anyways uh, they were both great bikes uh, the rally Elan I had a should we say I had an incident turning right at a roundabout and a van pulled out and bent the front end of the, of, the, of that uh, of the frame and forks unfortunately uh, the tarmac I really loved that bike but I, I actually traded it in for a guitar uh, at the time but I wish I'd kept it, to be honest, uh, the bike. But, but this this bike I will never ever flip and sell. No way. <laughs> I flip it. I flip and love alpacas and llamas. They're so cool. And there's quite a few of them around uh, around uh, where I'm in Wiltshire. Yeah, you see quite a few fields with them. But they they look really really chilled out today. But anyways, I hope you excuse my um, uh, naivety about this bike because I, I don't really know what all the components are on it. I know it's um, it's Selkoff, uh, Selkoff bar and stem, I think, and seat post. Uh, a Cell Italia flight saddle, which I'm going to have to get used to sitting on. Uh, the group set is SRAM Force 11. And to be, I've never actually tried uh, a road, a SRAM road group set before. So the double tap, it's all, it's, it, it took a few minutes to get get your head around, but it's actually pretty good, I have to say. Because um, I've always had Shimano uh, on all the road bikes I had. Like the first, uh, the Elan had down down tube shifters on that. So, but the Tarmac had um, uh, 105 group set, 11, no 10 speed. It was on that 10 speed, with obviously. Uh, the the shifters on the brake levers. 
but yeah the double the double tap is actually pretty good once you get you get the hang of it a bit but anyways this is uh i think it's it's thai three uh, ah I'll have to I'll have to read up on what what titanium it is, but I think it's the ah, it says three uh, AL two point five V titanium. Oh, just uh, down there. As I say, it's a two by eleven group set. Shimano, uh, it's not a Shimano. Sorry, SRAM Force Eleven. And it's a 50 tooth uh, big chain ring and four, 34 tooth small chain ring on the front. <laughs> oh, excuse me. An 11 speed. Uh, I think it's 11 speed, 11 to 32 tooth at the back. But man, I, I'm flipping chuffed to bits with this bike. It flipping hand, it feels flipping awesome to ride. But I'm so unfit at the moment uh, because I, obviously due due to different reasons, uh, COVID lockdown and uh, depression and everything, I haven't ridden anything like as much as I wish I, I would love to have ridden. Uh, I basically rode 560 miles last year. Uh, although, although in that I did two 80 mile rides to uh, Bristol and back on my, on my mountain bike, which I was I was uh, pretty chuffed about, considering I'm not fit at all. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, yes. Uh, this might this might get some disdain. Look, uh, looks from the uh, the the roadie elite, shall we say, uh, flat pedals. But I like flat pedals, and I couldn't afford clipless pedals and shoes at the moment so uh flat pedals it is uh they're they're uh, dmr uh dmr bikes v8 actually yeah v8 but i'm i'm used to riding flat so i won't uh, it won't bother me at all i'm not i'm not going to be racing or anything so i just purely riding for myself and anti-depression and just enjoyment uh, but the wheels, it says the wheels are fulcrum, uh, fulcrum racing six, uh, aluminium, uh, rims. I don't know what the, f uh, how many spokes there are, probably 24 or so. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you could tell, I know I, I'm not up with all the, all the uh, components on this yet. Ah, yes, so S round force uh, cantilever brakes there. Obviously, front and rear. And the tyres, uh, Panaracer Jack Browns, I, I, I believe. Uh, race 700 by 25.5c. Uh, um, and to be honest, I really, I really can't say much about about the bike. To be honest, I've only literally ridden. Uh, what is it? Yeah, literally ridden twelve point seven miles so far. <laughs> Average speed eleven miles an hour. But in my defence, I climbed Bowden Hill, which is like a sixteen percent uh, gradient at some points of it. It goes on for about half a mile or so. So that, that that's why, but obviously because I'm unfit as well. But uh, but anyways, that's that's the Garmin readout. But um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just flipping over the moon with this bike. To be honest, I'm flipping, absolutely loving it. And I and I um <laughs> I would damn well be riding this a lot. I can say that for a fact. Oh, the fork, actually. Sorry, I should mention the fork. Uh, a Selkoff uh, carbon fibre fork at the front, and it's got like an external, it's external head uh, headset. So it's not it's not internally uh, internal headset like you get you have on, like the Tempest and stuff like that. But that doesn't bother me at all. I specifically wanted to get a road bike with um, 
uh, cantilever brakes so I specifically wanted to get this model uh, but I'm chuffed to bits I managed to get one uh, control tech uh, ste sorry stem there uh, not Selkoff the headset Selkoff though I think it's a ta uh, I think it's a carbon fiber um, uh, carbon fiber fork uh, fork uh, that went the oh bollocks they <laughs> the thing that goes through the head the head tube uh, the fork steerer steerer carbon fiber steerer I think it's carbon as well did I mention it could be carbon but anyways the bars the bars actually feel really comfortable uh, the nice shape on them uh, these these are really comfortable as well the uh, the brake hoods and the, the grip tapes pretty nice as well that, that feels pretty comfortable it's another look at the uh, the alpacas Oh, they're so cool, man. They're so cool. But anyways, I, I just wanted to do a quick once, a quick video on my new bike, which I, I'm, I feel really, really lucky to get what to get this. Uh, car coming past, so I'll, uh... But I, I swear, I'll be riding this a hell of a lot. I'm going to ride this as much as I possibly can, but I, at the moment I'm so unfit, uh, I can't really go very far. But I hope, hopefully that will change. I think the actual, because this is the short ass, uh, the smallest frame size, I think the medium size they say on the website is 8.4 kilograms. Uh, so this, this definitely feels about 8, eight kilograms, or uh, was it 2.2 pounds, isn't it, per kilogram? I think it's it's definitely lighter than eight point four kilograms. This this bike, before obviously before adding the bottles uh, and the pedals, but yeah, it feels it feels pretty damn light. I have to say, uh, my mountain bike is uh, twenty eight point two pounds, so it's a hardtail uh, Kinesis uh, Sync tie model with one hundred fifty mil front suspension, uh, Rock Shocks uh, Yari. Yeah, so that so that this feels this feels like absolutely feather light compared to my, my mountain bike. Now I'm not knocking my mountain bike at all. I flipping love love that bike. Uh, I'd like to add, but yeah, I, I'm going to stop waffling on now because anyone who's who's watched this whole video, I say respect you for sitting through all this shit. But yeah, this is my new road bike, and I I cannot tell you how flipping chuffed to bits I am with it. And you can hear like some um ah oh, there's some ducks over here actually. There's a pond, a pond over here with ducks. Uh, it's not easy to see them through the the, uh, the shrubbery. But anyway, there's a big pond with ducks and they've got uh, geese I think as well. But uh, I will be I'll be heading this way, which is going up up to Roundway Hill it says that's Roundway Hill over here uh, I usually cycle up there on a mountain bike if I'm, if I'm going to Melkshaw or somewhere like that I'll, 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 I'll go up there and then down Headington steps and then through there's like a place called Spy Park but next to that is like a sort of dirt track you can go down and then take a back road to Melksham but yeah Roundway Hill uh, that's the other part of Roundway Hill like the wooded bit and and another look at the um is another look at the alpacas before I go. And I say bloody thumbs up, mate. Bloody thumbs up to, to all of you. And and to anyone watching this, I said uh, I'm sorry for being a twat, but it's it's who I am, and I won't apologise for it. Anyways, I hope you all have a good day. And thank you very much for watching. Over and out.